Miley Cyrus's weird ice, we mean rice bucket challenge. Taylor Swift surprises us with a single, a video, and new album details. And James Franco pisses off Iggy Azalea and Nicki Minaj. All of this and a whole lot more, you better believe it, on today's <laughs> Rundown. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown, my friends. Ersti here, Aaron Robinson, Misty Kingma, holding it down. Hello, guys. All right, Aaron's gonna get us caught up in the top story with Taylor Swift and her live stream from the Empire State Building. So it finally came the day that Taylor Swift had her live stream on Yahoo, and we're gonna bring you five secrets that she revealed in this huge 30-minute show. First off, the new song. It's called Shake It Off, just like we had rumored it to be last right, week. And exactly. it's so awesome. She played it for a studio audience, and then she decided to dance around with everybody in the audience. Just like she was at an award show. It was so fun. Second fun fact about yeah. this is that she revealed her new album title called 1989, which will be out on October 27th, which is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And 1989 is the year she was born, so that makes so much sense. A lot of sense. Also, she revealed the album's cover, which is this Polaroid of her, like from her chin down and her cool little retro yeah, 80s outfit. Yeah, I love it. It's like nothing I've ever seen. It's cool. It's really cool. Also, the fourth fun fact is this: this is going to be her first full pop album, so no country on yeah. this album. I'm kind of disappointed about that because I like her country stuff, honestly. But She's taking herself out of a lot of awards that she could be getting, you know? Yeah. She gets awards at all the country shows and the pop award shows, so now, half the awards. She's gonna share the love to yeah. other country artists because everybody, every year, she just yeah. racks them up. Okay. But I love that it's 80s inspired. Like, yeah. I love that she said she's so inspired by like the bold, rebellion, and bright colors of the 80s. And like, I think there's nothing better than 80s pop, so I'm excited for lots of energy. It, yeah, get excited. And our fifth surprise unveiling was, of course, the music video for Shake It Off. And it's so good. I could not believe that she revealed this already. I know. Take a look. Definitely felt like a Beyonce thing going on. You think? Yeah, because she just like dropped it all on us at the same time. Oh, in that regard. Okay, I thought you talked about like the video. I was like, this isn't like a Beyonce video. No, no, no. Her dropping the video yeah. and showing it to us, and it's so good. So we're going to bring you a couple highlights really quickly. First of all, the song is based on her just like owning herself and having a good time and not letting people get her down. Yeah, it's about basically people can say whatever they want about you at any time, but you know, you have the option to let it get to you. Option two, shake it off. Shake it off. Okay, so Taylor changed costumes so many times yeah. in this music video. First of all, the ballerina outfit, which I loved. It kind of felt like Black Swan to yeah, me. Yeah, it was Swan Lake inspired. Yeah, and she also does ballet for her workout, so I was kind of not shocked to see that in her dance compilations. Yeah. But one look I was really shocked about was her pop and lock look, which also looked like Lady Gaga, right? Totally looked like Lady Gaga with the wig and the glasses. Sorry, not sorry, oh, it did. Okay, also the look of her hip hop dancer with the like boom box on her shoulder. Is that where she went under the twerker and she tried to twerk? No, that is her <laughs> um, booty shaking look. That's oh, okay. a different look. I like how you named the look. I'm trying to name them, but the booty shaking look she to, she climbed underneath um, a gauntlet, I would say, of twerkers, and okay. her face at the end of it was pretty priceless. priceless. And I think that's like the thumbnail on the video, which is just perfect. Yeah. Also, she was a ribbon dancer and like a modern dancer. She was just like dancing all over the place. What do you think yeah. of the costumes? I loved it. I mean, that was the theme was like to take someone that's not a dancer and put them with all these pro dancers and see how they fare. And I love the awkwardness. Some people are saying that she's trying too hard to be like this awkward person and to inspire others, but whatever. I love it. Go girl. I love that she's owning it. Moving along, Taylor is performing at this year's MTV VMAs on August 24th, and so are a couple of other people. Yeah, we have a new MTV VMA promo that came out today where James Franco is pissing off Iggy Azalea, Nicki Minaj, and Jason Derulo, all VMA nominees. But really, it's actually just his character from the upcoming The Interview movie. Dave Skylark interviews these artists about their VMA nominations, but it's really not about that at all. So first, he sits down with Jason Derulo. He tries to get Jason to sing his name like he does right. in all his songs. Jason Derulo, but Jason won't do it. He does end up singing Benedict Cumberbatch's name and Dr. Phil. Yeah, I love that Jason Derulo said, I've retired that, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, like he has a new name. Nope. No, <laughs> no, it's still your name. Yeah, 
And then Dave, aka James Franco, interviewed Iggy Azalea. It okay. was all about Australia. He like started off by making fun of her accent. He didn't know she was Australian. Then he didn't know where Australia was. Then he <laughs> asked her about culture shock and asked her how long it took her to learn English. And then finally, they moved on, thank goodness, because that was just dumb. Uh, he asked her about her song Fancy, and he tried to quiz her on how fancy she was. Watch. Oh, you think you fancy? Describe the difference between a cabinet and a credenza. I, oh, I don't know. Someone ain't so fancy. You sure you wrote that song Fancy? I'm sure, honey. I think he's pretty fancy even though she wouldn't answer any of the questions. Yeah, I love her attitude. She was like, um, I'm gonna give you attitude right now because you're getting on my nerves. Yeah, the whole thing was pretty scripted, so I didn't really know how much of it like the actors got to really put into it themselves. But anyway, she did a great job storming off set once they brought like an Australian flag out, some kangaroo stuffed animals, some rain sticks, and boomerangs. It was done. And then finally, Dave interviewed Nicki Minaj. <laughs> And guess what this interview was all about? Um, her booty? Asses, all about asses. Do you work on your ass at the gym? Is it real? Where did it come from? What shape is it? Anything he could ask. And then Nikki gets mad because he blames these questions on her. But you're the one who, who wrote the song Superb Ass. What? You wrote a song called Superb Ass. Oh I'm my just... God. My song is called Super Bass. Super, Superb Ass. Super Bass. I love the superb ass song. Yeah, that was song. like your favorite part of this whole thing, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Why did we never think of that? <laughs> super bass is superb ass. Uh, like, this genius. It is, it is. But that's not all that he talked about. Or, or, or no, the to booty her questions kept coming. He yeah. asked her what kind of a tree her butt would be if it was a tree. She did say willow tree, by the way. And then Nikki turned the tables on him asking about his. <gasps> and he got really pissed. I think this was a brilliant promotion for the interview movie, like kudos to you movie and kudos <laughs> to the VMAs for combining this into like the best interviews ever. Uh, the movie doesn't come out to Christmas Day, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, Miley has a present for us. She does have a present for us. Yesterday we talked about a ton of the celebs who are jumping in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, and Miley Cyrus decided that she was gonna get in on the action, but she wanted to do her own version of it called the Rice Bucket Challenge with her brother Brayson. Take a look. We've been nominated for the Rice Bucket Challenge. By our dad and Noah. Yeah, by our dad and Noah. And so now we nominate Wayne, Katie, and Alec Holden. All right, let's do this thing. Here we go. Woo! Pretty grainy result. Oh, you ask me. Snap. But I'm I think this is a cop out. She didn't want to get wet. That's like the point is to make yourself uncomfortable. Exactly. She was nominated by her sister Noah and Billy Ray, who both did the ice bucket yeah, challenge. Yeah, you can't just go change it on your own because you're Miley. I know. I think she wanted just to make it different because everybody's doing it. It doesn't. She doesn't feel like she's standing out amongst she the crowd. She should have done Slurpee. Oh, that would have been definitely uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the rice bucket challenge or if other people are going to catch on. I hope not. Can, no. No. The ice bucket challenge is really hard. I'm, I did it last night and it's really uncomfortable. So I don't want to do any more challenges. Okay, guys, sad to report there's no Turned Up Tuesday today, <laughs> but it's okay. Don't be sad. Don't be sad, Erin, okay, because okay. we're reworking DHR. We have so many exciting new things coming for you guys, so just stay tuned for that. Yeah, but don't leave us yet. We want to know, of course, what you guys think of Taylor's new song, Shake It Off, and, of course, the music video. That's right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Misty and Erin, we'll see you back here tomorrow on Wednesday on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Bye, guys. Thanks you guys for hanging with us on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. Now if you click in that video box right there, you can catch yesterday's show. And Misty and I will be right here tomorrow for a brand new episode. But please go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go.